Guys, it is that panda guy, and I'm here again with another video. And today, I kind of wanted to go over Antipede. Um, a lot of you guys might know it, and I mean, it's a pretty straightforward event. And I think a lot of people have gotten confused over past information. And I also wanted to kind of clarify that Maxine is not the meta anymore. Maxine, her ability was nerfed in the Antipede, so it's not as like good as it used to be. So I do not recommend using Maxine if you're rallying it. It's not gonna do what it used to do. It doesn't have the same effect. So don't waste your time so basically when we're talking about this i'm gonna be talking about skill damage because skill damage is like the biggest factor when you really consider antipede and like the damage output that's gonna be going in because like it's basically gonna be only skill damage so um i kind of wanted to say that catherine or catherine she is the highest single target skill damage i guess player in the game um and that's only if you really spend on her because a lot of people aren't going to be in the situation to where they can actually invest in the catherine and actually have her as a really good hero so a lot of people are going to mark this one off the list and you know i'm going to be trying to just explain kind of who i would ideally use especially as like a no we're low spender right um and Lewis would be second. So basically, I was talking to Tree, and I want to really thank Tree because he helps me with a lot of my. Well, he helped me with my, a lot of this information here, and I haven't been able to get Shelby to help me lately, so it was pretty nice. And um, basically, we're talking, and he said that Lewis is second, so it'd be like Lewis and Catherine probably because they got the higher skill damage in the game, right? And the thing is, I also want to mention that a lot of newer regions, and I mean, a lot of newer players are probably gonna be the ones watching these. A lot of newer regions, I mean, all newer regions can't unlock lewis so these probably are both going to be knocked off the list unless your region is old enough and then you can take this into consideration and after that i guess you can um uh well okay so i kind of want to say that if you can't really do catherine it probably be better that you would do maya and lewis since maya is also really high skill damage um you know, she's a really high skill damage player, and I think Maya is pretty good, especially when you, like, consider it for the most part. So, honestly, if you don't really have um, your Catherine up, I'd really go her. I wouldn't do sisters together. There's, like, no point to that, and the damage output's going to be pretty garbage, right? So, like, you got to really consider a lot of factors when you're going into this. Um, also want to say that, like I said, a lot of people aren't going to get Lewis, so I'll give you guys another option. So, you could always try to go maybe... Um, Lewis or sorry Lee because Lee is uh also decently high skill damage and the thing is you could also think of um maybe Jaden and Jaden isn't the worst he could be considerable because he does have a high skill damage factor and also when you put him as a support hero uh, his thing basically halves so you can't really use him as a support if you're considering throwing him against the Antipede you'd have to use him as your main hero and the biggest problem about Jaden is his rage buildup is so terrible it's not terrible but compared to the other heroes it's like actually just bad it's not worth it and I, this is why i wouldn't use Jaden, even if he's like an early gamer maybe that would be the only situation that i would be considering using Jaden. and it's because he's such a good early game commander for most people because the game helps you boost them and probably could max out that first skill pretty fast compared to a lot of people so i mean for newer regions it might be better for you guys to use Jaden, but i also do recommend lee because lee is very i wouldn't say affordable right because like i mean you still would have to put relics into him and stuff but when you really consider the skill damage output he does do a pretty decent amount and i think he would be probably better um because his support tree is also pretty decent so i mean if you're newer out, it might be better that you do a Jaden Lee combo or just something like that. And hopefully your first skill is max because you guys got to consider most of this damage that you're going to be outputting is all going to be from the first skill. And I mean, maxing out one skill is usually the easiest part, right? Because like you got to consider when you're leveling up your skills, when you get to the next, it's going to be even more. For example, after I've maxed out all of these and I'm on my one of my last ones is gonna be 80 freaking relics to hit the next level and then i think like 85 or 90 or whatever for the last level and it's just a lot of freaking relics so i mean yeah uh i'll use tom as an example here if i wanted to go up for his next skill right here it would cost 40 relics do you see the difference there so i mean the lower the better um as long as you just get that first skill maxed out i think Jaden and lee would be a decent combo though um Jaden wouldn't be my first choice just because of his rage his rage like build up is 
not ideal but i do hope this video helped you guys just like look for heroes that have high really really high skill damage on their rage skill so look at their first skill look at the damage factor and see if it's worth it i mean when you consider cynthia i think cynthia is actually decent so i mean she would be pretty doable but i mean she, like i said you know like it's just hard to decide and Ah, it's all up to you guys. You guys just got to look for skill damage on that first one. And I mean, yeah, you guys have a good day. I hope this video was kind of helpful towards you guys just improving overall. So you guys have a good day and peace out.